So, which G chord sounds better to you? This one? Or this one? So the discussion came up um, in regards to tuning this morning, but it also comes up when you're talking about how to effectively apply pressure on the fretboard. Number one, you only need enough pressure to make contact with the fret, with the string, whether it's a single note or if it's a chord. Uh, secondly, you don't want to twist your fingers unless you're trying to do something deliberate like you're trying to do that kind of effect. But otherwise, you don't want to be pushing up and choking the strings out like this. So you really want that, that nice, clean, direct application of the finger straight down into the strings. Um, a lot of the times too, like you take a single note, like let's say the low G on the third fret sixth string. If I play this note, it's in tune. But if I press down too hard, you can hear it's going sharp. So direct pressure, don't bend your fingers and you should be in tune. Now that's not a substitute for a guitar that's A in tune and B that is set up properly. So if you don't know how to set up your guitar, then take it to a qualified technician. Um, but it's very easy to learn how to set up a guitar properly so that it's intonated at the bridge, uh, intonate at the nut, so that you're playing you know, open chords, cowboy chords, as well as chords up in the 12th fret and beyond are intonated and sound in tune, especially octaves. If it's intonated, it's going to be in tune throughout the neck. So just a quick tip, um, other people have done great videos on this, like RJ Ronquillo talks about this in his, um, his videos, but uh, just a quick tip for folks that may have struggles with sounding like they're in tune. So number one, be in tune, don't push it out of tune, and make sure your guitar is set up properly. Thanks, have a great day.